What's going on guys? I have a quick preview today for the Minnesota Vikings and the Tennessee Titans Week 5 matchup of the 2012 NFL season. Now the Vikings have been one of the biggest surprises this year, sitting at 3-1 and and the opportunity to get even better this year. I think this team still has a lot of room for improvement, but can they keep this moving after two good wins against the 49ers and the Lions? They have the Titans at home, but they can't let the winning get to their heads because they're an overachieving team right now and they have to keep playing good football because they have not won anything yet three wins gets you nowhere and so I'm looking forward to this game though it's the Vikings first game that is not at noon here central time and I'm looking forward to it though the Titans are coming in and they're coming off of a game where Jake Locker got hurt after two passes and Matt Hasselbeck is the starter for tomorrow's game and the one bright spot for last week for the Titans was the improved play from Chris Johnson he ran the ball more decisively and much more effectively but can he do it this week on the road against the Minnesota Vikings their front four is always very good at stopping the run and they've stopped the run very well this year. The Vikings linebackers are also playing very physical defense and the Vikings are likely to get Aaron Henderson back in the starting lineup this week and him, Brinkley, and Greenway are very good at stopping the run. I expect the Vikings to contain Chris Johnson and their main success I think is going to be if they get Chris Johnson outside in space. Maybe it's a pitch, maybe it's a screen pass, but the Vikings don't have all the speed in the world on defense. So that's where you have to attack the Vikings on the edge with Chris Johnson. And then for the passing game, Kenny Britt had a minor setback this week and he's not going to play this week which is very fortunate for the Minnesota Vikings. And so the Vikings have one less threat to worry about on offense. They can focus in on keying on Chris Johnson, making this Titans offense one-dimensional for a backup quarterback in Matt Hasselbeck to see if he can help lead them down the field and score some points. Now the Titans offensive line hasn't played all that great this year, and the Vikings front four has definitely gotten a lot of pressure in the last two weeks. I expect that to keep happening this week as the Vikings are at home, and they play very well at home, especially their front four, I would have to say, gets much more pressure on the, at the Metrodome. It is due. And I think the Vikings have definitely improved against the pass, and they're also making a lot more physical plays. Last week it was Harrison Smith hitting Calvin Johnson in the end zone and making him drop a pass, and they also had a couple fortunate breaks in that game, but the defense is hard hitting this year, and they have to keep it up, but I think the Vikings veteran leadership is going to help them keep in the right mindset, because they have some young players as well, but when you have a team that's not expected to do much, and they're outplaying their expectations like this, the Vikings at least have a veteran presence on this team with a lot of different veterans. There's Jared Allen, there's Kevin Williams, Antoine Winfield, Chad Greenway on the offensive line. You got John Sullivan. There's some good leaders on this team. I think they're going to keep the Vikings in the right frame of mind. They just have to keep executing well and playing good football. The main thing for the Vikings in this game is getting their pass offense established. Last week they were non-existent and there was one player that was stopped that really was the main reason why. That was Percy Harvin who was held to under like 30 yards receiving but he had a 100 yard or a 105 yard kick return for a touchdown. The Vikings special teams is part of why they won last week and the Vikings offense didn't have to do a whole lot to go down and score points. I mean, they were managing the game and they were managing the clock. And the offense was never under a whole lot of pressure to do anything with their drives, but Ponder did find Jerome Simpson once last week for a nice deep ball that got him a first down, helped, helped take more time off the clock, and Adrian Peterson had his best game of the 2012 campaign, and I think we're finally seeing Adrian Peterson getting closer to 100%, and I want to see him go off on the Tennessee defense, who I believe is like 27th against the pass and 27th against the run. I could be wrong there, but they are giving up a lot of points, a lot of yards, and this is a game where the Vikings have to play well offensively, or me and a lot of other people are going to be worried because this team can't just be held up by their defense. Ponder is going to have to play week in and week out and make some plays. I'm not expecting three touchdowns and 250 plus yards a game, but I want to see the Vikings throw for 200 yards this week, one or two touchdowns, and for Ponder to once again control the football and not make mistakes. He's the only remaining NFL starting quarterback without interception. I want to see him carry that longer than just week five. And so all in all, I do like the Vikings' chances in this game. I think their best matchup is on defense against Chris Johnson, shutting him down, getting pressure on Matt Hasselbeck, making him make a couple of mistakes, maybe some interceptions. The Vikings have one interception this year. I want to see them get another one in this game. The last one came with Josh Robinson against Alex Smith. And they had some opportunities in the past week, last week against the Lions, and they dropped them all. And so hopefully they catch one this week and they can make a big defensive play because the Vikings have lacked big defensive plays in the past years, many years. And so I'm looking at their defense definitely playing well. Hopefully offense remains balanced and at least Adrian Peterson should be able to be very successful. But Ponder's still a question mark in this game. And I think this could be a trap game for the Minnesota Vikings. I don't expect a blowout by any means, but I do expect them to come home with the victory and move to 4-1. I have the Vikings winning by a score. Let me see here. 24-16. to And I think the Vikings are going to go to 4-1 and and head on out to Washington, D.C. for a big matchup against RG3 next week. But as long as the Vikings get this victory, I'll be very happy. So thank you guys 
guys for watching. Leave your thoughts on this matchup in the comment section below. Leave a like on the video, please, if you enjoyed it. And thank you for watching. I'll see you guys later.